Alright, welcome friends to Mwezi TV tutorial time with me, Olas. I'm going to take you right uh, through the course Introduction to Writing Skills from the Department of Languages and Literature. Remember, I said Mwezi TV, don't forget to subscribe. So, Introduction to Writing Skills uh, is an English course, of course, as I earlier on said that focuses on a lot of things, things like uh, how to speak English fluently and correctly uh, and also how to write academically according to the standards and the etiquette of the university. Therefore, today we're going to look at parts of speech as the first topic in the course Introduction to Writing Skills or English 111 as people call it. So, we have nine parts of speech in the English language. The first one is the noun. We have the noun, we have the verb, we have the adverb, we have the adjective, we have the conjunction, we have the pronoun, we have the preposition, we have the article, and we have finally the interjection. So for today, we're gonna look at the noun because this is like the foundation in the English language. So the English language, as I earlier on said, is made up of these things. So therefore, the simplest definition I could give for a noun is that a noun is simply a word that is used to name something. If you could remember so well, when you were in grade 12 or any other grades lower than that, you learned that a noun is a naming word. But coming to a university, we simply advance the same concept to a greater level. So. A noun, as I earlier on said, is anything you could use to name a thing. We have a lot of um, examples of nouns. We have words like school, apple, cake, pineapple, tomato, bird, and other things. All those are nouns. However, this afternoon I'm so much interested in uh, classification of nouns. So we're going to look at first things first. We're going to look at the types of nouns. The first common types of nouns we, we have common. Nouns, we have proper, proper, proper nouns. Pardon my handwriting anyway. So we have the common nouns and the proper nouns. So the common nouns, these are words that represent the whole. Take for instance, I give an example of the word country. From common sense, if I say country, you know to say country, there are words that underlay this word. When I say country, this is just a general word. We have specific countries, countries like Zambia, countries like the United States of America, Iran, Tehran, Ukraine, Singapore, and other countries that you know, of course. So the word country is an example of a common noun. Another example of a common noun is the word bird. This word bird is an example of a common noun. Moreover, it's not read as bed. This is not bird. This is the bed we used to sleep on. This is bird. So bird is another example of a common noun. We have different types of birds. We have birds like chicken. We have birds like the hummingbird, the eagle, the heron, and other types of birds that you know, of course. So these are some examples of the common noun. Other common nouns we have are things like people, uh, words like drink. We have different types of drinks, happy apple and other things. Even words like phone. This is a common noun. Even words like uh, maybe when you just say, uh, take an example, political party. It's a common noun. There are individual political parties that maybe you don't want to specify in a particular sense, maybe for security reasons or anything else. So we would rather mention them. So these are some of the common nouns, as you may know. I invite you to add more so that you gear on your learning. Uh, from the common noun, we go to a proper noun. Now, for a proper noun, a proper noun is simply uh, the opposite of um, the common noun. Others would call it the antonym, yeah, of course, because it's the opposite. So, 
A proper noun is simply a specific word that names something. I gave you an example of a common noun, country. Then uh, somebody might come and say, Honest, could you kindly give us a proper noun for country? I would come and give uh, maybe a country like Iran. So this is the proper noun. So from there, we have other proper nouns like from the word uh, person, person could be uh, too generous, it's common. So I would specify to John. Uh, other proper nouns that we have, we have words like uh, Jesus, it's a proper noun. Even your name, maybe you are James, you are Shira, you, you are whatever. All those are proper nouns. Now, one thing to take note of, every proper noun in the English language begins with the capital letter. Regardless of its position in the sentence, it could be at the beginning, it could be in the middle, or at the end. But it has to begin with the capital letter, for these are the rules that govern the English language. And finally, uh, on this chapter, let me just introduce you to something interesting that we're going to continue at an appointed time. We could also consider um, collective uh, nouns. So just like the word itself, collective, we're talking about a collection of things. We group things all together. Then how do we call them when things are grouped together? Take for instance, a group of uh, lions, you call it the pride. Pride of uh, lions, uh, a crowd of people. Crowd of people. Um, you have other things, you know, like uh, maybe a bunch of flowers. Um, um, of course, this one sounds a little bit sarcastic, but that's how it's called when baboons come in a group and uh, other more words. So the homework I'm giving you, the, you the subscribers of Mwezi TV tutorial uh, network, is to look for more collective nouns. I'll challenge you next time someone should subscribe and write us a message on how we call a collective uh, or a collection of beautiful girls all together. I said a collection of lions, we call them a pride of lions. Uh, a group of people, it's a crowd of people. Uh, I said uh, for baboons, it's a parliament of baboons. How about a group of girls or ladies? Thank you.